are staying with the big headline of the day. As we mentioned, Kamala Harris is in the process of deciding who she will pick to be her vice president. But the question is, what will be her guiding factor? Joining us now is Mike Muse to talk about the art of making a big decision. Mm -hmm. Something the decision. we all deal with, <laughs> right? Mike, decisions, decisions, decisions. Eva, you set me up so perfectly. I was like, am I an art curator, right? Like, you are. I love being an art curator. Thank you, Eva, for that. New title alert, America. Um, yes, all week and all weekend long, I've been getting so many questions about who is Vice President Harris going to pick and why. Like, literally every friend and family has been calling me to ask me about that. So I said, you know what, let me help America help understand this from a position of cost versus opportunity. And so you look at Senator Mark Kelly. The cost of him is that he is a senator, which is great, but it's of a border state. The reason why I'm putting that in the cost factor is because that is a vulnerability that the GOP is really attacking VP Harris of. And so it does that bring it more to light. But it can also be an opportunity because it can also to highlight what they will do together on behalf of the border states. He is a senator with an important battleground state, and he is a moderate, which can appeal to that wing of the Democratic Party was to be really important. The next one that everyone is really talking about is Governor uh, Josh Shapiro. His cost in this manner is that he's a super popular governor. So do you remove a super popular governor in the state of Pennsylvania when the state legislator is split between the Republicans and the Democrats? You remove him, does that change the balance of power if they have to go to a, a special election? But the opportunity, you are more than likely have a good chance to win in Pennsylvania, which is key if you want to win 1600 Pennsylvania Very Avenue. The third one is Governor Tim Walz, Minnesota nice. I know our EP cat loves her some Minnesota nice people. Um, the cost of him, though, is he's just not a household name. And so the challenge is you have to get America up to speed into who he is. The opportunity is that he speaks to that rural demographic. Also, too, he is head of the Democratic Government Association, which can be key for rallying and grassroots and volunteering, in particular around the battleground states. Last but not least, and I think about this in a sense of cost versus opportunity, we have Secretary of Transportation Pete Judge. The cost of him is that he is an openly gay man. And so the question is, can America handle a person of color who's a female at the top of the ticket and an openly gay man? I don't know if America is there yet, and I think that's what the Harris administration is really thinking about in terms of her campaign with that. But the opportunity is that the Democrats love Secretary Buttigieg. Uh, he is a former mayor of a red state. He's a military vet, and he currently serves in administration as Secretary of Transportation, and he's a great messenger. He's known for really being an attack dog on cable news networks, really defending the Democratic record, and that is something that Vice, uh, Vice President Harris would need to have a successful campaign communication and messaging. So that's how she has to think about this. Cost versus opportunity. Does she listen to the party or that voice within? Or just me, but no, a joke, joke, joke. Uh, <laughs> right. It's a joke, joke. Uh, I think that's a, but that's, a, oh, that's such a good question. I think ultimately you want to listen to yourself because you know what they say, you want to live with the decision mm -hmm. whether you win or whether you lose. And could it be someone not even on that list right there? Maybe Andy Bashir, the governor of Kentucky, still in it. Who knows? Plot twist. Uh, uh -huh. We'll see. Plot twist. <laughs> Two in a GMA three for what you need to know. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll see you back here next Monday for Monday Morning Quarterback. Our again. curator so alert. good to be back with you, <laughs> Yes, yes. Take me to the moment, baby. Take me to the moment.